Welcome back to the world of random battles, which means most likely Ubers. If I'm lucky, I'm facing off against some body proper. It's always worrisome. Oh, this looks great. Um, do not enjoy Cloyster. Um, I mean, people rarely do, but I feel I do that less. Kind of great seeing an opponent that brings something more unique to the table. Let's see, starts off with less than ideal. Um, we can Volt Switch on this, though, right? I think that's what I'm gonna do, even if Garcham comes in. Yeah. Bring him down to the Sash. Um, I do expect him to be off um, a Shell Smash variant. So, I have two priority user. I have expecting him to not attack me. I just, I don't want to lose Disease 19. Fida Max makes more sense. Uh, yeah. Like, if I have to make a bad call, I, I, I'd rather sack this guy on the initial Shell Smash, that is. Why would you, though? You saw the team. You saw the team. It was a mistake. Not even with White Herb, this would have made sense. Like, if you see a team with, um, with a scissor, you kind of make sure you don't pull down your cloister for this type of scenario. I mean, I'm clearly forcing this guy out. Question is whether or not he decides to say, and I'm... Blastoise could be a Shell Smasher too, and if so, I'm kind of in trouble again. Let's see, switches out, which I think is fair. Goes into, yeah, just about to say, like, probably bring in Blastoise, and gonna have the same type of trouble again. I did all right. Um, don't see leftovers. So I'm gonna U-turn on this on the expected second Shell Smash, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's a mad lad. Is it wipe turb though? Because if it wipe turb, then I'm probably not doing too solidly anyway. Um, yeah. Fool me once, right? Let's see, how much will a U turn do? Ooh, we are not there. We are not there. Plus, I'm, I'm kind of forcing him into torrent range, which is kind of worse. Jackie Joe do have the means to maybe take a hydro pump before torrent. If I set up a rain dance, I make sure gold like out speed. Oh, psychic. He's gonna have dark pulse of that, I'm sure. Which will be unstabbed. Ice beam, yeah, probably the strongest hit actually. Ooh! Yes, solidly. And now you die, of course, right? Please. Yes. <laughs> Crisis avoided. For a second time around. <laughs> oh, the greediest shell smasher I ever faced. Foist. I actually have no idea what he wants to do. I mean, I clearly bring in Scissor again. He could have Ice Shard. I, I'm, I, like, that's my only, like, thought that makes sense. If he Shell Smash again, I mean, then, then, it's, then it's three for three. That's just fair. Um, I guess that was a mistake on my side then. But I, I'm, I couldn't take that risk. I couldn't. That would have been just the worst. Um, but yeah, two Shell Smashers in one team. That's, um, that's something else. And quite frankly, I'm... I'm not entirely against it. I'm rather thinking he's pulling... Like... He plays his ace too early. It's like basically... I'm trying to make an induendo here, but I realize that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stay child flirt friendly, so maybe not that. He's basically pulling his gun before he even started, is what I'm trying to say. Um, Alright. So my opponent is thinking... I really hope it doesn't forfeit. I mean, he's still got a guard champ, which I gotta watch out for. Yeah, I was just about to say. And here is a guy I really don't switch in and out on that efficiently. And uh, he didn't have rough skin, which is good. It means I can hit him again like that. And with leftovers, I'm kind of less worried. 
I'm actually gonna bring in Torterra on this. I think I can. I think I can match it like a offensively as long as it doesn't have Fire Blast. And I'm gonna set up rocks to make sure Cloyster is out. Come on, Grimlock, you got this. So, oh fuck! I guess I'm. I guess I'm attacking now. Did not want to see that. I'm not sure I can take it. Outrage. <coughs> Let's see what he got. Hopefully, like if he goes for an outrage, I manage to live it. On it. Mm mm. That's not it. It's gonna hurt. I do believe I am in a sack position though. I mean, he gotta go for Dragon Claw. Honestly, I'm really surprised about that play. Um, gotta get my rocks. Like, he's gotta have Earthquake, Iron Hand, then, of course, with Fairy types. Um, I just, I'm not sure. Of course, he gets the flinch. Of course, he gets it. Fuck me. Those rocks would have been really handy. I'm, I'm just saying. All right, try one more time. I'm, I'm still losing my mon here, of course. Um, I'm just thinking, like the leftovers make sure he's out of range for um, for Armaldo, which is definitely not ideal. Um. So I think I'm bringing Odysseus and go for Rain Dance and bring Golduck with uh, Specs. Um, Specs Ice Beam to kind of knock him out. I'm um, like that's my plan. Not the most solid one, but I think I keep a few of these mods at arm's length, which is what I want to do. Yeah, I'm being very stressed out about this guard jump. I'm when I saw leftovers, it's kind of thinking maybe something more utility-like, but this is definitely a fatter one. And um, like I said, it keeps me at arm's length, which is something I definitely not appreciate. Still, though, if I were him, I'd probably sack Cloyster here. It's too obvious. No. <laughs> Great. And versus Venusaur, I'd probably do the same, like, as much damage as possible. If I lose them on, then so be it. Ice Beam is still like my strongest hit versus a Venusaur. I do kind of think, though, I have Psychic on this Golduck, but I'm half kind of thinking that maybe it would have been better putting Rain Dance on it. Even though it is Specs. Oh yeah, he had a Mana Gross, I knew that. That's not ideal. Um, <clears throat> I do believe I can gauge it though. Um, I still have like a few turns of rain left. I can switch out, U turn out, and bring in Armaldo kind of safe. But that's a one trick pony. You know about those. It's, they are not pretty. Earthquake is fair. Actually, doing really solid damage. Is it banded? It's gotta be. Oh, come on! No! 